hello everyone welcome to intellect instruct so in this video i'll be telling you some important questions and concepts of digital communication dc with the subject code 21 ec 51 for vtu and it is a 21 scheme most important questions okay you have to study these questions so uh, module wise questions are there so let's uh, go to the questions of module 1 so in module 1 uh, like uh, deriving or uh, getting the expression for probability of error of bfsk technique that is binary frequency shift keying and uh, generation and detection of dpsk uh, with diagrams also qpsk qpsk means quadrature phase shift keying and uh, bpsk means binary phase shift keying next important is explain the non-coherent detection of binary frequency shift keying technique is also important and uh, like they, they may also give you problems based on um, like a binary sequence is given like 1001011 and illustrate operation of dpsk those kind of problems and also definition of bandwidth efficiency and problems based on that and uh, explanation of mra qam and mra bpsk next uh, in module 2 like what is matched filter or define matched filter is very important and uh, derivation of the expression of or impulse response of matched filter is also very important and also state and prove the properties of matched filter is is also very important and uh, uh, write a note on awgn noise awgn means additive white Gaussian noise that is also important and uh, derive the probability of error equation for matched filter is also important next uh, gram smith orthogonalization procedure explanation is very important and uh, explain isi model then techniques for duo binary encoding there are four types of uh, i mean techniques four techniques are there so study all the four techniques next uh, explain the correlation receiver with new diagrams that question and next let's go to the problems so you, here you can see that the binary data 0 1 uh, one sequence is given and um, they are telling that it is applied to input of a matched duo binary system so uh, like um, these kind of uh, systems problems uh, they will give we can just um, go through this next uh, uh, let's go to next question yeah, you can uh, take the screenshot of it okay next uh, eighth one uh, here uh, gram smith using gram smith orthogonalization procedure we have to find the orthogonal basis for the given set of signals so here they can uh, give you signals like uh, equation form also or uh, in graphical representation form also so like uh, both if they give also like the approach will be the same next um, yeah this uh, this type of problem is very important gram smith orthogonalization problem next the same uh, question but uh, i mean the same concept with the uh, different values or graph see here also using gram smith orthogonalization procedure finding the set of orthonormal basis functions to represent s1 of t s2 of t and uh, s3 of t so as shown now here they have given you three graphical representations uh, you have to solve using gram smith orthogonalization procedure okay next is uh, and this one yeah explain the geometric representation of set of MMA energy signals problem and uh, next module 3 so what is pn sequence explain its generation with example also its properties pn sequence and its properties are very important next uh, explain the following with the neat diagrams like uh, frequency hop ss means uh, spread spectrum so in that uh, you have to write both that is slow slow hopping and fast hopping both you have to right next model of baseband uh, ss and uh, ds ss bpsk system also cdma cdma based on is95 that is both the reverse and forward link you have to study it's also very important cdma is important and frequency of spread spectrum is important also the generation and demodulation of dsss with the necessary equations and dsss transmitter and receiver also explain the slow frequency hopping spread spectrum um, they may also ask you difference between uh, slow and fast fhss next is um, this one uh, problem is there that is a uh, draw the four stage linear field back shift register and um, then you see the write a note on the following that is processing gain and jamming margin also low detectability signal transmission then application of spread spectrum in wireless LAN code division multiple access as an application of DSS analysis so all these are like just writing a note on those 
then uh, let's go to module 4 so module 1 2 3 will be the dc part and module 4 and 5 is the itc part that is um, information theory part so in uh, module 4 uh, state and prove the source encoding theorem and uh, construct the Hoffman code with minimum code variance this problem is very important Hoffman code problems and also derive the expression for average information content of symbols in long independent sequence very important uh, derivation uh, explain entropy and status properties is also important rate of source is important self information and uh, justification for why to take lock uh, uh, here it's a uh, lock function okay uh, log function for the measurement of self information and also prove that the entropy of uh, zero memory extension source is given by uh, h of s to the power n equal to n into h of s this is also very important uh, derivation that is proving that the entropy of zero memory source uh, memory extension source is given by h of s to the power n equals n into h of s very important next uh, see the sixth problem um, that is here they have given you the messages like x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 with the and also they have given you the probabilities that is 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.07 and 0 0.03 respectively and they have asked you to consider the binary code by applying half min encoding procedure and also to find the efficiency and redundancy of the code form uh, very important just study that next uh, Next important kind of problem is construct a binary code for the following source using Shannon's binary encoding procedure. So Shannon's uh, binary encoding procedure is also very important. Uh, just study this also. Next uh, next important uh, is uh, consider a source S is equal to S1 comma S2 with probabilities 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 respectively. Obtain Shannon Fano code for the source S and its second and third extension. Calculate efficiencies for each case and justify the results. Next is uh, a discrete memoryless uh, source has an alphabet of uh, six symbols uh, with probability statistics given below. Uh, so here they have given you here six symbols are given A, B, C, D, E, F and their probabilities are given like 0 0.3, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.20, 0 0.08, 0 0.05 and next next is uh, uh, yeah in that only the sub question is like construct the Hoffman code by moving from uh, as high as possible uh, and also you have to compute efficiency and vari variances and also construct Hoffman ternary code by moving as high as possible so this kind of problem is also important and next is apply Shannon's encoding algorithm to the following set of messages and obtain efficiency and redundancy also uh, the problems like consider a zero memory source emitting three symbols x y and z with respective probabilities of 0 0.6 0 0.3 0 0.1 calculate entropy of a source all symbols um, and also at last you have to show that h of s square is equal to 2 2 into h of s so for, this is for the second order extension uh, very important next uh, important is this one and that is uh, in a facimile transmission of transmission of picture there are about 2.25 to 10 to the power 6 pixels frame for a good uh, reproduction 12 brightness levels are necessary consume all these levels are equally likely to occur and yeah uh, this kind of problems that is finding the rate of information uh, problems and also source efficiency of this uh, facimile transmitter next uh, source em a source emits one of the probable messages uh, like um, messages m1 m2 m3 m4 with the probabilities they have given you and you have to find the entropy of the source and also you have to prove that h of s square equal to 2 into h of s next uh, relationship between hardly nats and bits is also very important and the last module that is module 5 so here um, uh, they will give you, you one uh, binary convolution encoder like uh, 2 comma 1 comma 2 as shown in the figure like um, here one input is there and there are two flip flops f uh, ff means flip flops and they have given you this they will give you this diagram and they, they asked you to find uh, transition uh, straight transition table state diagram uh, code tree and also you have to find the encoder output uh, for the message 110 and also you have to construct trellis diagram and uh, find the encoder output yeah next uh, important uh, same kind of uh, problem 
um, but here the figure is different and the sequence is also different um, so here binary convolution encoder figure is shown here uh, like, and also they have asked you to calculate state table trans state transition table state diagram and uh, code tree also uh, finding the sequence for the message one zero uh, triple one so here uh, see this is uh, a of two comma one comma two so this is the convolution encoder and uh, here one input is there and there are two flip flops this is the top adder and this is a bottom adder and uh, yeah here uh, is the output next uh, uh, is uh, this one this kind of problem like uh, uh, for a systematic uh, seven comma four linear block code uh, parity matrix will be given one parity matrix will be given like one 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 zero one zero one zero one one so this kind of parity matrix will be given and they will ask you to find uh, um, this is find yeah they will ask you to find uh, g and h and also draw the encoding circuit find all the possible valid code vectors and a single error has occurred in each of these received received vectors detect and correct those errors and draw the syndrome calculation circuit next uh, is a define capital g and capital h matrix also show that uh, cht equal to zero next design a linear block code with a minimum distance of uh, three and a message length of four bits then for a uh, six comma three lbc lbc means linear block code and your check bits are related to the message bits as per the equation given here they have given you three equations and they have asked you to find out the uh, generator matrix g and also the possible code worth and find h and h transpose and uh, computing the syndrome for this code word next uh, is also one um, lbc they have given you that is a uh, 6 comma 3 lbc and generator matrix is given and they have told you to find uh, parity check matrix and uh, find the minimum distance of the code draw the encoder and all so all these questions are very important next uh, the parity check bits of uh, 8 comma 4 block code are generated by yeah same thing they have given you like uh, sequences and they have asked you to find out the generator and uh, parity matrix for this code and find the minimum weight so all these questions are very important please study these questions all the best for your exams if you like the video please like share and also if you are new to my channel please subscribe thank you